check one two check check one two one check one two check one two check one two one two one two check one two one two check one two Is eight. All right, it's eight o'clock. Thank you for joining me tonight. My name is Mason for stories and songs from Use Your Voice, uh, my fifth studio record. And um, I had a lot of fun talking about my debut album a couple months ago, and I thought this would be a good record to do sort of a similar thing for. Um, so maybe I can just give you a little bit of backstory on how this record came to be. Um, it was released in 2004, but the years, the record before that was Century Spring, and that was, you know, that was done. It was kind of like more of a studio record. It was a little more glossy, and and then between when that one was released, I went on the road like nonstop, and my career was sort of taken off at the time, and you know, touring the country pretty much nonstop for those two years, um, with a band with two guys that I absolutely love um, on bass. This guy Chris Morrissey. Um, who has since gone on to play with all kinds of people like Sarah Bareilles and Ben Queller, and also he has a he has a career as a um, you know he's a fantastic jazz bass player, but he has records that he lead, he's a band leader too, and the New York Times gave him rave reviews, and then also the drummer at the time was Brian McLeod, who he's also from Pittsburgh. I'm from Pittsburgh, and he moved to Minnesota a little bit after me. We actually went to the same high school, but we didn't know each other. And so he grew up, you know, a little younger than me, but loved like Smashing Pumpkins and Pearl Jam and all the kind of stuff that I loved um, too. So when he was up in Minnesota, we hooked up together and play music. And then he also ended up playing for Atmosphere, the band from Minnesota. And um, But during these two years, we were touring nonstop and basically in a van and got to know each other really good. So I really wanted to make a record with these guys. And I, I, you know, my first record I did, it was, it was like, a, I played all the instruments. It was a, a record where I made it, you know, in a living room, overdubbing all the, inf inf all the instruments myself. And for this record, I really wanted to make a band record. And I was kind of obsessed at the time with acoustic music, like uh, Greg Brown and Neil Young's Harvest. And um, I was obsessed with John, uh, Bob Dylan's John Wesley Harding record at the time. And so... I was like really fixated on making a record where it was just just three guys in a room, um, you know, like no overdubs, just kind of like play the songs, no studio trickery, just make it sound like basically like one instrument, you know, like one acoustic instrument. And so, you know, looking back, like that, that was one of the records I wanted to make. But then the band kind of like we just we went to separate ways before we got to make kind of like a rock version of the record because the live shows were definitely like more rock. Like we covered Bulls on Parade a lot on that tour by Rage Against the Machine. And so and we we did one song on a record called Bone Clouds. We did a um, a, a song called uh, Where the Sun Had Been. That's the same band from Use Your Voice, but in a totally different form. So um, this record we went into a place called the Terrarium. It's downtown Minneapolis. It was like this hidden studio that was um, just north of downtown Minneapolis in this place that it didn't look like a studio. Like no studios ever looked like studios from the outside. It was like right by a White Castle and it's like in this hidden door and then you go in and it's this incredible studio. And um, I have one of the tapes. I found one of the tapes. That's so heavy. Here's one of the tapes. Like my first record was on these tiny little tapes and these are on these massive tapes that they, I don't think they even make these anymore. Maybe they make them, but... Um, and I and I got an engineer. Like the record originally was going to actually be produced by Mario C, who did the Beastie Boys records. And Mario came out to L.A. and saw our show, and we hung out. And and then I decided not to go with a certain label that he was working with. And so he he was like, well, maybe down the line. But since I'm closely affiliated with this label, I'm I'm going to pass on this one. So instead, I I got in touch with uh, Tom Garneau, who is an engineer who worked with Prince for a long time, and he was sort of his, Prince's on-call guy for eight years. And uh, he had so many great stories about Prince, but also like about MC Hammer and people like that, where he, he told me a story once, like MC Hammer would come in and he'd be 30 guys with them in the studio. And then he would just be like Burger King. And then one guy would just go get all the Burger King for like, like bags and bags of Burger King and stuff like that. So 
Anyways, I hired Tom Grano to record it, Chris Morrissey on bass, upright bass, and um, Brian McLeod on drums. And we recorded it pretty fast, actually. And um, I'm trying to think. The first song is Crown on here. And, and the way this song came about was... Uh, it was originally like a rock song. I'd been kicking it around for a couple of years. Like it, it sort of was like originally like a, a distorted Pixies kind of sounding thing, and I couldn't I couldn't get it to work. And then when we went in for this recording, I had these other songs that were kind of like in the vein, like I was saying, like acoustic, minimal. And one day I was just sort of like playing around with it. I didn't have a harmonica at the time on it on, on the song. I just was like playing the chords. And Brian, the drummer, wasn't there that day. I was just working mostly on acoustic guitar by myself. And he walked through to get some something out of the studio. And I was like, oh, Brian, hey, can you sit down? I want to just try something. And um, he's like, sure. So we sat down and just strummed. And he played along with me. And then he re-recorded it and he left. And, and then I listened back and I was like, man, that I think that's done. And then and then I was like, let's well, need something at the beginning because it was just supposed to be like a scratch idea. And then I would just play the harmonica after the fact just as like a scratch harmonica. And then... You know, it's just funny enough that, like, that's the recording. That's probably the song I've played the most. If I look at my career, like, live shows, Crown's probably the one I've played the most out of any song. And it's funny how it was just sort of like, oh, maybe there's that one song that sounds like the Pixies. If I did it a little more, like, country and tried that, and then Brian played on it. And he was always like, dude, are you never gonna, you're not going to give me a second chance for this song? It's, like, going to be, like, first take, just an idea, and that's that's going to be the beginning of the of the record. And I was like, when it's, when it's right, it's right. So... The record starts with this song. It starts with, actually, you hear Tom Garneau first because I love Van Halen and I love how like the engineer would always be like talking to David Lee Roth on the recordings. And I also love Sunhouse, and they're always talking to Sunhouse on his recordings. So it starts with, with Tom Garneau, just to let people know I'm not by myself in a room recording all the instruments this time. And then Brian counts it off, and away we go. I took the train up from Illinois I was following through on the letter you sent I always feared that you'd be true, honey True to yourself to the bitter end it just kind of happened, or so she says She was drinking and lonely Know the rest and he meant nothing he was happenstance she says she loves me still and wants a second chance but I don't want to be together I don't want to be apart I don't want none of this love for you honey deep deep down in my heart where's my golden crown that you took and passed it round There's no telling what a man might do with a life like this When it all falls through Cause I don't want to be together I don't want to be apart I don't want none of this love for you, honey Deep, deep down in my heart What you put me through The love that tears me apart Still beats deep, deep down in my heart Deep, deep, deep down in my heart
So that's Crown. And then the next song um, is a, a song called Light, The Light Part Two. And it was originally, it was supposed to be the first song on my first record, actually, in its original version. It was actually just called The Light. And I couldn't get it right um, playing by all the instruments by myself because it's kind of intricate and I just couldn't make it sound right. So I just kept working on it. And then on the second record, Birds Flying Away, I, I wrote another song called The Light. So then I was like, oh, I should put that one out on that record. It felt a little right for that record. So then that became The Light. And then this flipped into The Light Part Two. Um, it's kind of like, a, to me, it's like, it sort of symbolized the minimalism approach of this record. It's very much like, it was very heavily inspired by like, I have a very soft spot for uh, like Midwestern art, like poetry, like Ted Kuzer's poetry or, um, you know, music by, by like the Pines, Pieta Brown, Greg Brown, Bo Ramsey, like, uh, so this, this song is definitely influenced by like, um, the Midwest. And regardless, in the evening, a light is thrown by the setting sun. It speeds along this vast, familiar, and silently crosses everyone. It's the light that's changing. It's the light that's changing. It's the light that's changing It's only the light Across the schoolyards Across the gardens Across the chapels where lovers have left Across the table in our old kitchen Across the cities where our futures slept it's the light that's changing It's the light that's changing It's the light that's changing It's only the light What can I do to defy you? Oh, what can I do to deny you? Cause I want no part of this breaking This is a perfect mistake you are making And to me this love was true and shining Oh, these views were real and defining Please, please don't forget how much I meant to you When, when you are redefined by someone new Across what's left of these old places Across the playgrounds where old friends play Across the lines on familiar faces Across the nothing that we say It's the light that's breaking It's the light that's breaking It's the light it's breaking It's only the light So that's the light part two And you can actually hear like when I say Across the nothing that we say That was intended to be a bookmark of the song Nothing from the first record but then it spread out over four, four, four or five records. So. This next song, um, it's called Empire Builder, and it was actually written about the Empire Builder Railroad. It was I was asked to do a, some music for a documentary that was going to be on PBS about the Empire Builder, and then I, I was excited, and I wrote a couple songs, and then the, the funding fell through, and the thing never got made, but I like the song. So it's, uh, I think you can hear in there like some reggae stuff. Like I didn't even notice it had some reggae overtones until somebody was like, oh, yeah, but... Probably everything I do has some reggae overtones because more rock steady overtones. Like I'm, I love rock steady music. Um, like the early Whalers music is like my favorite. And then I always kind of hear Willie Nelson in here too. With, with uh, you know, I'm obsessed with like Redheaded Stranger and his records like that. So this is a song about the, the railroad code called um, Empire Builder. Mm -hmm. 
All day, every day, I swing my hammer to the metal on the Northern Railway. Always a movie playing in my head, a million movies starring you and me. Moonshine every night, eating supper by the fire in the clear moonlight. Ankles crossed, hands behind my head, telling stories, singing songs about the West. And I'm always thinking of you, staring off. Down the railroad line And one sweet day I will see you I swing the hammer until The Empire Builder brings me home Two months and two odd weeks, sometimes days go by in which nobody speaks. From Illinois to Washington, there ain't nothing but the hammer to the rail. One day when this track runs through, I'm gonna buy a new suit and come looking for you. And carefree, you and me will take the Empire Builder to the sea. And I'm always Thinking of you Staring off Down the railroad line And one sweet day I will see you I'll swing the hammer until The Empire Builder brings me home <laughs> all right empire builder um yeah that also the song i guess it reminds me of like that uh willie nelson and johnny cash um i was just obsessed with that record where they did an unplug special together where they're playing together and uh i, I must have listened to that record a million times and uh johnny cash too um who, he's playing the Martin guitar like me in that, and Willie's playing that incredible other guitar, kind of guitar that puts shame to the rest of us. But I was thinking about the, I was thinking about Martin guitar because I was thinking about the cover of Use Your Voice, where the cover was actually supposed to be a totally different cover, and um, it was me, and I was sort of standing by myself in this giant amphitheater, and there was like there was an empty amphitheater, and I was standing on the stage, and it was just sort of like the idea being like I was tiny in the picture, and there was just this giant expanse, and like one small person when they use your voice can you know be amplified and the label that i was working with at the time was like uh hell no that's not going to be the cover like everybody always already thinks you're a grandpa like you 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 seem like people think you're a thousand years old with the way you're singing and i'm like what okay i don't even know what that means but so they're like you have to be up in the cover big and i was like shit mostly i was mad because i just got my hair cut and i had longer hair when i was recording the record and i just like buzzed it super kind of militant style so the, the the cover is like me being kind of uncomfortable because i have this really militant looking hairstyle and i was and i was wearing like a i don't know an army shirt or something so like the vibe was like i was like all right whatever like you got to just roll with stuff in life but anyways that was a sort of like a I don't know that wasn't the original idea but oh my point about martin guitar was but since the guitars were real big in the cover you know a few years later i went to the martin guitar factory and i, I love martin guitars and i walk in the factory and right behind the receptionist is is my record with the, the cover because they're like, yeah, we love this. It's because the guitar's featured. So I was like, well, that's cool. That came full circle and I feel good about the cover now. You gotta let life be life sometime, I, I guess. Don't know what's best all the time, even though I think I do. So this next song, 14 Pictures, again, like a Midwestern, like, a, you know, just sticking with a minimalist theme, probably could it be a poem too. And I was trying to write, work with all these different song structures because you only have three instruments on this record. So it's more like, how can you keep it interesting? So for this one, it's just me and a guitar, 
and the structure, I was thinking, is there some way that I can sort of create it like a cascading poem so that the whole thing hinges on the last word of the song and the, the chorus becomes like the last, just one word. So um, it's called 14 Pictures. They said it, it slipped out. Now it's out there and I'm filled with doubt. Please say something to let me back in. What are you saying? What are you saying? This conversation is a mountainside. It's a long way down and there's no place to hide. When we started up, you didn't look this high. What are you saying? What are you saying? Sweating on the countertop I'm looking at you and I can't stop Looking for something that was just right here What are you saying? What are you saying? Stuck in a dream, is it the only Never ending, never done. We're still talking, but it's a memory. What are you saying? What are you saying? pictures on the freezer door 14 pictures and there'll be no more little magnets hold up a family what are you saying what are you saying I'm sleeping I'm dreaming I'm 10 feet tall I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming you up against the wall Louder, louder than silently What are you saying? What are you saying to me? next song uh, lemon grove avenue um, during the during those two years of touring a bunch of the touring i did with jack johnson who was just starting his career at the same time during the beginning of the tours we were swapping headlining dates and then by the end of the tour he was like doing giant arenas in on the west coast and which was awesome it was so fun because we were playing in front of so many people and um we became friends and like um so i think there's a little bit of like me just kind of like thinking about this whole world that i was suddenly thrust into with like suddenly I was on all these surfers and I'm, you know, I'm from Pittsburgh and I live in Minnesota and I can't surf just at all. And, um, I mean, I was born in Hawaii, but I was only there until I was two years old. So like, obviously I didn't learn to surf then, but so I'm around all these surfer guys and I'm like, kind of just being like, Oh, this is an interesting culture. So like this song is sort of like, I was listening to a lot of J Jimi Hendrix too. So I hear some Jimi Hendrix in this song. I hear some Led Zeppelin, but I also like definitely hear the influence of like that whole surfer community and the, a lot of the kind of music that those guys are listening to. And, um, and I just and basically I just picked a we were driving around all the time. We were touring in San Diego all the time and I remember seeing Lemon Grove Avenue on a sign and I was like, Oh, that's a cool sounding that's a cool sounding song. So I just made it up in my head and then I played it in San Diego the first time and the crowd didn't really didn't really clap because I was like, This is a song about San Diego and then I played it and they're like and some guy's like, I don't think you've ever actually been to Lemon Grove Avenue, have you? Because that that doesn't really sound like the Lemon Grove Avenue I know. So But it's still for San Diego and it's hard. So this is Lemon Grove Avenue. Da 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 da, 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 da da da
If I have my way I'm never gonna leave Lemon Grove Avenue Where the summer breeze Blows through the windows in the afternoon And all the stars come out at night And there's a boat out on the sea And there's a bird up in my tree And there's a feeling in my heart I can't explain I'm coming home, I'm coming home, yeah If I have my way, I'm never gonna leave Lemon Grove Avenue. Where the summer breeze blows through the windows in the afternoon And all the stars come out at night And there's a boat out on the sea And there's a bird up in my tree And there's a feeling in my heart I can't explain I'm coming home, I'm coming home, yeah So that was Lemon Grove Avenue. It's the only electric instrument used one time on this record. It was the bass on that, because Chris was like, I want to play the electric, please. Because I, I was like, please, let's make this all acoustic. So I had him play an upright bass, which we never played live, but I just wanted the sound of this record to be like wooden. Also, I like turned the kick drum on the record way down. So it's you might wonder, like, it's a strange sound of this record. And I'm like, yeah, it was, it's all, I'm trying to make the whole thing sound like, the whole band sound like an acoustic guitar, kind of. But that song has an electric guitar on it. It was also... Uh, used in the movie it was a movie called the owen ohio that record and or that song with uh, parker posey and and paul rudd and dan devito that was fun for me in the world of movies it's always fun having your stuff in movies and then speaking of movies this next song was written for a movie again like i was talking about the movie earlier for, for uh pbs but this one is like a shrek 2 they called me and were like you will you write a song a love song for the ogres uh, for Shrek 2 and I was like sure I'll try that and I was on the road at the time like I was saying so I wasn't writing a ton and, and I, I remember being in Boston I was I thought that was so fun like the idea of it so I was like yeah and I just went backstage at this this venue called the Paradise in Boston and I just wrote the song and I think it's sometimes easier when you're like I don't know maybe it's just because it was ogres and I can relate so hard maybe that's why it was so easy but it just kind of flew out and 
Um, they didn't use the song, but I didn't care. And I just never talked about it. And I just was like, I'll put the song out as a love song. And, and a lot of people were just like, that's our song. That's our song. And I think it's funny because inside I'm like, that's a, that's a song about a Shrek and his lovely Shrek friend. I think her name is Fiona. So that's a song called Keeping It Real. It was bound to happen and it happened today Life turned to us to say I'm about to go your way And it's a simple situation now that we became us There ain't no rust on the happiness bus And it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday All the rest of fun days from now on until the very end Never gonna spend another day without you again Here's the proof, I'm telling the truth And it's a, oh yes, my oh my The earth shakes when you walk by It's a fairy tale that we made true I can't believe that I found you And it's, oh yes, my oh my People turn and look when we walk by It's a big fat Love we feel in our hearts We're keeping it, keeping it, keeping it real Now the sun is going down upon our troubled times We could free our minds and leave it all behind It's the common stipulation that there ain't no hope But there's a tie swing, baby, on the end of our rope And it's Wednesday, Thursday, Monday, Friday Saturday, Sunday, all the rest of fun days From now on until the very end Never gonna spend another day without you again Here's the proof, I'm telling the truth And it's the oh yeah, my oh my The earth shakes when you walk by It's a fairy tale that we made true I can't believe that I found you And it's oh yes, my oh my People turn and look when we walk by It's a big fat love we feel in our hearts We're keeping it, keeping it, keeping it real Yes, in our hearts We're keeping it, keeping it, keeping it real In our hearts We're keeping it, keeping it, keeping it real In our hearts, we're keeping the keeping the keeping it real. So that's keeping it real. Um, yeah, not only for ogres. All right, what's next? We got what's next? It's uh, so this next song is a, a song I wrote. Um, I was in San Francisco and. You know, I don't watch TV, and I was in my room doing, doing, you know, like reading or something on on the road at this place called the Phoenix Hotel, which is where a lot of rock and roll people stay at the time, and it was like a, a place we always were staying at. Um, and I got a call from my friend Rob Squirrel, and he was like, "Turn on the TV." And I was like, "Oh crap!" So I turned on the TV, and <clears throat> it was a plane crash where Senator Wellstone and his wife and some other people he worked with had 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 died in a plane crash. And being from Minnesota, that was like oh, wow, I, I had such a vibe. So I just I sat on the edge of the bed and just, you know, tried to just channel some sense of hope um, in this really sad time for the state of Minnesota. And this is the song that came out. It's a song called The Ballad of Paul and Sheila. October morning, little plane on the forest floor Up on the TV between a rerun and another war Here in a hotel trying to make some sense of this I'm 2,000 miles from my family in Minneapolis Hey Senator, I want to say all the things you fought for did not die here today but hey senator i'm gonna do 
all the things I can't to live my life more like you. Together forever, that was always what it was about. No hesitation, it was never in doubt. Hey, hey, she loved. I wanna say all the things you fought for did not die here today. Hey, hey, she loved. I wanna do. All the things I can to live my life more like you. That's a song, Ballad and Paula Sheila. Um, the next song, so like I was saying earlier, I was on tour a lot with Jack Johnson and kind of like immersed in the surfing culture, you know, like meeting all these surfers, like doing shows with Kelly Slater and who I had, had no idea about who these people were, but um, I was finding out and it was amazing. And, and so this next song, um, people sometimes I talk about having a surfer friend in there, like, are you talking about Jack Johnson? I'm like, no. None of my songs, nothing's really like ever exactly literal. It's it's always like an, a, some sort of composite of experiences or feelings. I mean, Jack took me surfing one time in Myrtle Beach, but um, this this one's more inspired by a trip to Australia. Um, and there was a band called the Beautiful Girls, which is actually not girls, just like total like uh, surfer guys and stud handsome surfer dudes, and. Um, when we were staying in, we were in Australia for about a month during when we were writing this record and, and staying on the beach and, and they'd said like, we'll take you surfing. And I was like, well, I guess I don't, I mean, I don't know how to surf at all. I can swim. Okay. But so they're like, we'll take you surfing. So they got us some wetsuits and they, uh, they came and they gave us the wetsuits and like meet us at the beach. So we're, we're staying in this place called Manly and, um, which is fitting because I turned out to be incredibly not manly in this, in this scene. But we're walking down the street after I had my, it was me and my drummer, Brian, and we had our wetsuits on, we're walking, and I was like having the hardest time walking. I was just like, God damn it, this is hard to walk. I can't even bend my legs. And I kept thinking like, man, these guys are so intense because they're wearing these wetsuits, and wetsuits are crazy. Like, I can't bend my, my legs at all. And, my, and there's this weird part of it sticking out here, and we're in, in this beach with all these people, and I'm like, man, I, I'm trying to play it cool. And I said, Brian, I was like, Brian, this is just, this is too hard. If, I don't know how I'm gonna swim because I can't even bend my legs. And he looks at me, he goes, dude, you got that on completely backwards. Like, what's going on with you? And I'm like, oh, man, I was really pretty far from the hotel at that time. Like, I was pretty far, you know? So and I had this wetsuit on backwards, and that was embarrassing. So I had to do the walk of shame back to the hardly being able to bend my knees, which is in a way was kind of a relief because, let's be honest, if that was a wetsuit and I was like, going to have to swim like that, I wasn't going to go that good. So it was nice to finally get the wetsuit on the right way and to try surfing with these, these guys in the band, the beautiful girls, Matt McHugh and Clay. And, and so there's a song that I was writing when I was at this place, and, and it, it was I was going to write the words Manly Beach, but then that sort of just was like, well, that's kind of like sounds weird. So I was just like, 
I picked a different beach called Bondi Beach, which is more famous in Australia. So this is a song I wrote compositely of all these different experiences during that year of surfer land and, and uh, traveling so much. And it's a song called Southern Cross. I woke up at 4.35 Still jet-lagged from another plane ride From my window over Bondi Beach Where all the stars seemed out of reach I recognized none but the Southern Cross Sitting on my bed with the light turned off Till I found a sweet song on the little clock radio And it made me cry Singing, have some faith have some faith And I don't know what I want But I know where I want to be And everywhere I go I wish you were here with me Stars hang on tiny strings My dreams are made of memories Once everything made sense Now I get so alone that I can't sleep Somebody please tell me if this is where I'm supposed to be Bottles on the table and socks on the floor Trying to remember what I started this for When a surfer friend of mine came and picked me up And we paddled out as the sun was coming up Talking about how everybody has to find Something that gives them the strength to be alive And out laying on our boards in the southern hemisphere He said to me, gotta have some faith Have some faith And I don't know what I want But I know where I want to be And everywhere I go I wish you were here with me Stars hang on tiny strings My dreams are made of memories Once everything made sense Now I feel so alone that I can't sleep Baby, somebody please tell me If this is where I'm supposed to be Southern Cross. Uh, maybe I'll write another song someday that's got the other take on that about the wetsuit and how hard it is to walk in them backwards when they're backwards. <clears throat> this ne the next song I'm going to play is a, it's a song called uh, Drinking as Religion. And, um, you know, this was one that we like worked on in the studio a lot. And it's just like when you're working in minimalism, because I was like so focused on like, I really just wanted this record to be, because I felt like it was like something I wasn't hearing a lot of in the world at the time where I was like, I just don't want there to be any anything in there except for just a microphone and these three instruments playing just the most, like the home just has a hi hat tapping and like one a bass and just the guitar like just plays two chords back and forth, and then you know sp spirit coming through really and um, you know I remember we were talking about I was like you know through meeting all these surfer guys and then being on you know s subsequently meeting a lot of people that go on adventures or like uh, people like. Uh, Rick Ridgway or Yvonne Chouinard, who I've, you know, I've worked on some movie stuff with them where they talk about, um, you know, mountain climbing or this stuff where you're just like, 
you're hanging from the mountain by like the simplest piece of equipment. And, and I was like, I can really relate and they can relate to me because emotionally that's the kind of music I like to make where it's just like, there's a couple pieces and you're holding, it holds, see how much weight you can hold with just the smallest amount of parts. And I remember we were working on the song, we recorded the song so many times because it was just so minimal and there's just no, there's just no space for anything other than like the, the tiniest stuff. And I remember my drummer, who's this fantastic drummer, who's, you know, like I said, I play with atmosphere and all these different people. And, he was like, man, it's so it's so terrifying playing this music because like I'm just going, t -t 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 -t. and if I fuck that up, then everybody's like, that drummer sucks. He fucks up the. T -t -t -t. I'm like, yeah, well, that's what makes it. That's what's fun, man. Like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put it out there. So, and he agreed. And we had a lot of fun on the road like that. So this is a song, um, called "Drinking as Religion." After all this useless fighting, after all our schemes, we could sense a final battle and started picking teams. And due to lack of good direction, I fell in with thieves and took to drinking as religion and landed on my Truth that starts as understanding finds you in the night. It circles all around the ceiling, a frightened bird in flight. And after spending hours beneath it, everything comes clear. Truth will pose no danger to you, but haunts you both. Is fear and somewhere in our ever after telephone still ring somewhere in our future journals love still means something I have learned a mighty lesson from this change of plan Loss is brutal, I can't stand it, I wonder how you can. And all the while there's dogs are barking, streets are talking, out my window, out the light and the snow is flaking, hearts are breaking, words are making a mess out of these thoughts I'm thinking. Boats keep sinking, it's drowning, keep drinking And if this darkness came from light Then light can come from darkness, I guess If this darkness came from light Then light will come from darkness, I guess Light will come from darkness. That's that's something to remember during these times. I'll tell you that much for myself. And um, so, yeah, that's, I mean, that's the majority. We've got one song left, but I want to thank you for tuning in. Um, that's Use Your Voice. And uh, I wanted to mention again, wanted to make sure this was free for all, but uh, as, as you all know, um, no live music is happening, and that's how me and all the other musicians... Um, well, most of all the other musicians you love make make the percent most part of their living is live shows. And with that gone, um, donations are much appreciated. Of course, if you don't have the money, free is the way I like like it to be. So, um, also, you know, I do paintings and stuff like that. And and thank you for everyone who's purchased paintings on my Etsy page. We've also been doing some hand uh, hand written lyric prints. I got one for Crown that I just put up. Um, all this, the links to all this is in the YouTube bio below. Um, I got some drawings. I, got, I tried to draw a train crossing here, which I think, I think it actually looks like a train crossing. And there's actually a harmonica, which people always ask me, what key is the harmonica in on this record for Crown? It, it's an F sharp. And I tune my guitar half step flat. So if you tune the guitar half step flat and you get an F sharp harmonica, you should be able to figure it out. Um, 
So, thank you so much. This last song is, um, it was a song I wrote. I, it's, it's like a few years old. I've been playing with it for a while. I used to live in an apartment, and it was definitely like, it was just an apartment with nothing in it. And it was, it was like definitely like the guy in True Detective, the detective in True Detective who had nothing in his apartment. That's what the apartment was like, except it had in the corner a reel-to-reel tape machine with a drum machine and a microphone and a bookshelf with like Moby Dick, the Dhammapada, and probably nothing really else on there. Um, so this song, I just had the drum machine going all the time, and I was just I was just recording these these uh, these chords to the drum machine and just putting verses out. Again, it was like a, almost in like a haiku or something like. Well, not a haiku because now you're going to be like, that's not haiku form, but the idea being once again minimalism. So when this this record with when it started to take, take shape, I thought of this song from years earlier, and I thought, okay, this might be the good way to end it. So I had it fade in because I'm like. That sort of sums up the whole thing. It's just a subtle entrance, and there's a great bass line by Chris Morrissey, and then Brian sort of like being the human drum machine, and then the story of the empty apartment and uh, the life of minimalism. So again, thank you so much for listening, and, and the, this is a song called Ulysses. I went into 12 bookstores looking for Ulysses Mother well led me to believe all my questions would be answered And now I have it here sitting on the table oh, Another word for the green tea and a bonsai tree an underground apartment and check my email and wash my clothes while my rice is cooking and oh Jesus Christ how I hate making phone calls so I lead a, a lonely life Waterfall from a higher place told me all about you. The funeral for the man I was told me not to doubt you. And all oh, what we could do with your dress up round your shoulders, we could leave all our fear behind. Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. Buddha, 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 I went into the liquor store looking for a bottle of my favorite Bombay gin answer to my problems but to my delight the bottles were all taken oh yes another hero's night Chaya! Buddha 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 Buddha, 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 Buddha. So that's Use Your Voice. I'm Mason. Thank you so much for your support and for listening tonight. From uh, me and Josie in our house in Minnesota to yours, sending healing and love and hope. Thank you. Have a great night.